hello everyone and i'm working on this custom crane it's not going to be colored when i finish i'm just going to keep it white paper now then this is like the bottom and actually the circle part is in it and there's the two oops leading up here and i basically cu uh, cut uh, oh square rectangles and i am Going, oh, for goodness sakes, why do you keep falling over, idiot? Okay, anyway, uh, I cut these part. I will tape them, but it's so I can put this little wheel thing through the middle. So then this will be the part that you can pull forward. And you, when you pull forward, it'll like pull forward like the crane thing. Anyway, that's all for now, bye. Okay, now I have uh, done this. I have taped these holes up and cut a new hole right here. And here is basic. Oh, basically a crane arm. Oh, for goodness sakes! I, I need. Oh, for good. No. Oh, oh, this is so light. I am gonna have to put some weight on the bottom. Anyway, I made this similar to an old crane I made for my old series. Basically, this part moves, and you can basically make it go back and forward to be continued in part three. Hello, Mystery Fellowship here, and if you look outside, you can see that it's beginning. Oh my goodness, did you see that? But it's beginning to rain. Anyway, I thought... I finally think I'm finished. I put cardboard and it's able to like stick under the track. I just have to like slide it under so it's st sticking. And even if it doesn't stick in the track, it has cardboard to weigh it down. And this will make sure it doesn't tip over. Anyway, I put the roof and the finishing touches, which aren't really any. Anyway, it's a little, little jittery, but that's because I have to use only one hand. Done. It's a little difficult for me to hold the camera, but yeah, it's almost done. It just needs a string thing.